Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Classic Animation Optimus Prime and I love this toy. Released in November of 2019, he is starting to become available right now as of the time of this recording. It is a Walmart exclusive and it retails for approximately $30. And real quick to take a look at the packaging because they did do a little something different with the packaging. So you'll notice it's pretty much the same Siege War for Cybertron packaging, but they've changed the artwork on the side here. Instead of having the art, we're going to have just this big Transformers more than meets the eye 35 anniversary logo here on the side. And then it lets us know that this is the classic animation Optimus Prime. And on the side, we still got the Siege War for Cybertron um, artwork right there. And then on the back, we've got some shots of the product showing us both robot and vehicle mode function Autobot leader. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. And now checking out the vehicle here is Optimus Prime in his truck mode. And this figure is nothing more than just a repaint of the other figure that we already had for War for Cybertron. So it's just done to look um, more like the animation, that, like what we saw in G1. So he's got a lot of the classic cell shading and that kind of thing. So here in truck mode, once again, Optimus is going to be about six inches long and about three inches tall. He does come with a rifle and his shield. And these have also been repainted. Additionally, he comes with his instruction sheet and a little warning sheet in here. Uh, just telling us that it is... Uh, Warning, choking hazard, small parts may be uh, uh, not for uh, children under the age of three. So there you go. There's your couple warning, everybody. <laughs> Get rid of those. Let's take a look at the accessories real quick, just so you can see. So this is the rifle that comes with this figure. And this is the rifle that came with the uh, first figure. So they're pretty much the same. The first figure rifle, it was a deeper black. This one is more leaning into a little bit of a gray almost, uh, but it's very, very faint. But you can see the cell shading paint right here on the top. So there's the differences between those two. And then with the shield, uh, we got, again, pretty much the same thing where uh, with the original shield, we had some silver highlights. This one is going to be all black. But then again, you've also got the cell shading. And then instead of a gray handle, we have the white handle right there. And then let me go ahead and get the blades out real quick. Where the original had the black blades, the new one is going to have silver blades, which I like a lot. Although, you know, if they were going to do classic animation, I think this would have been a perfect opportunity to maybe not the whole shield, but maybe the blades. I would have made those in orange, I think. That would have been a cool little touch for this classic animation. So that's the weapons right there. We can set those aside. And of course, you can mount these on the back of the vehicle. You can mount that there. And then you can mount this here. And I usually, you know me, I don't care for this very much. But it's a Cybertronian vehicle. It's a space truck. So uh, uh, we'll forgive it this time. We'll let it pass. But real quick, for comparison, here he is with Siege War for Cybertron Megatron, so that you can see how they scale together. And I think they scale together really, really nice. I picked up this one a few weeks ago, and I've been really, really happy with Megatron. I have not been picking up a lot of Transformers lately, unless they're G1s or Masterpiece figures or strictly Optimus Prime figures. Other characters, other stuff like that, I had to cut back a lot on my shopping uh, in my collecting. So I've not been picking up a whole lot more Transformers, but I saw Megatron and I had to have them. And this is the regular painted one with the battle damage. But I just, I am in love with this figure. I really like it a lot. And I think these two figures scale fantastic. That is a really good approximation of what I think these two vehicles should look like next to each other. So that looks really, really nice. And then of course we'll bring in the original offering 
of this Optimus Prime so you can see all the differences, all the changes that they've made. The reds and the blues are a lot more vibrant. I really love the tones of the reds and the blues. Then they took all the silver parts, so like our tanks here, and they painted them white along the front. You can see that we now have a white bumper. Peg those in together. So the bumper is now white. The details around the headlights are all white. The windshields and the uh, lights up here at the top, they have that uh, the blue, almost like animation blue window look to them. And they all have that cell shading, which looks really, really nice. And then coming around the back, we'll go ahead and take the weapon back off again. So you can see on the back again, more vibrant with the blues. And we have a little more of that cell shading. The uh, the silver is actually painted silver where this is just gray plastic. This is actually painted silver, which looks really, really nice. Then along the back there, we actually have some yellow and orange details for the taillights as well. So really, really nice. And again, it's just a straight repaint of this figure, but it looks fantastic. It just looks really, really nice. Um, they did not paint the wheels. They left those black. Uh, I, I really do like the silver on these on these wheels here. So I don't know if I'm maybe going to go back and do it myself. I haven't decided yet because I just really like the way this figure looks. So really quick, getting into transformation. Again, it's going to be the exact same transformation that we had before. So I will try to remember it because <laughs> I honestly, I haven't even looked at the instructions because I've just done it so many times. So we're going to start right here with the sides. Bring those down, open up the feet. Come on, wheels. There we go. Open up the panel here, flip it, and peg it. I've noticed that the tolerances are, are a little tighter with this figure. Uh, the joints seem to be a lot tighter with this figure, which is really nice. Okay, so that's that. Bring the wheels down. Start opening panels here. Open all the panels. Bumper all the way up, close that, fold, and flip. Right it up, close the chest, arms out, wheels up. There's a phrase I haven't heard in a long time, wheels up. Back in my old paratrooping days. And bring the roof down. We're not going to erase the roof. We're going to bring the roof down. There is Optimus Prime in robot mode as soon as I get them all nice and straightened out. And I think he looks amazing. Here in robot mode, Optimus stands approximately seven inches tall. And again, same exact figure, but just absolutely breathtaking decos. Let's come in close and take a look at that face it just looks fantastic the eyes are like this really light blue that matches the light blues right here on the, on the front of the helmet it's very subtle you can barely notice it the, the blues and the eyes are the exact same tone and it's a shame that it's getting lost in the lighting you can't really see them in there but it, they're in there they look so so nice silver mouth plate with the white cell shading as well awesome sculpt on the head and just all the deco all the way around you can see that cell shading really popping on the windows and on the arms just air all the way around he looks fantastic and once again they took all the uh silver details from the previous figure and made them white and we'll be able to, we'll be able to see that a little more clearly when we do the comparisons articulation is going to be the same so heads on a ball joint up and down all the way around arms can go all the way around they can go in and out and side to side they can turn at the bicep, you can turn at the elbow, and you have a wrist rotation. You also have a waist rotation. Legs can go forward and backwards and in and out. You can bend at the knee. You can also, you have a rotation at the hip, just a little bit of rotation at the hip. You also have a full rotation at the knee. And then, of course, you have ankle tilt. And a little bit of a toe and ankle bend because of the uh, transformation. So, again, really really nice figure let's go ahead and give him some weapons so we're going to bring in his uh, rifle we'll pop that out and we'll just give him his rifle just like that and then there's a couple of things that we can do with this quote-unquote shield slash axe whatever that you know this thing is 
So if you want to use it as a shield, of course, uh, what I typically do is I just put it on his back just like that and leave it there and don't use it. <laughs> That's just me. Uh, you know, it's a cool little accessory, but I don't care for it really all that much. But uh, it's, it's, it is a cool little fun little accessory to have. I just don't quite like the way it looks on them, but um, there it is. So if you want to use it as a shield, you can just pop it right there on the side. And there you go. You got Prime with a shield. And uh, I find if you turn it, it actually looks kind of cool if you turn it this way. And there you go. You can have yourself Prime with a shield and rifle ready to go. So that, that actually looks pretty nice. Now the shield will also transform and convert into an axe. So let's do that. Get them all stuck straight again and reset. And there's really no wrong way to stand this guy up. Whatever, however way you stand him up, he just looks cool. Just look at him. So we're going to take the axe. We're going to take the handle. It just slots in or tabs in right there on the back. So it's just going to come all the way around. It tabs in the front. Pop out the blades here. Those are a little tight. And there you go. Now you have yourself a shield. And, of course, you can hold that. So now he's ready to take some faces. So there you go. Classic Optimus Prime move, giving your face. <laughs> so very cool. This is such a cool figure. I really, yes, it is just a repaint, and I typically don't go for repaints, but I had to have this one. This one is so, so cool. I'm actually tempted to get the Megatron one as well. I really do like the way they both look. But let's do some quick size comparison, so we'll get this guy standing straight up again. And we'll bring in the original offering of the Siege or for Cybertron Optimus Prime. So you can see the differences again a lot brighter figure He looks really nice really bright very animated uh, Or animation inspired all the silvers for example right here on the waist and on the thighs Have all been painted white, which I think look amazing that just really re looks really really nice The windows pop so much more now with the blue cell shading Even the grill has white highlights on it and again the legs we saw this earlier where this is just gray plastic these are now painted in silver. The smokestacks are going to be about the same. And then going all the way around, you can see all the differences there. Again, in the back of the legs, these were painted just gray plastic, where now everything has been... Uh, I, I don't think it's been painted white. I think it's just... Mold, maybe it's just molded in white. But either way, it's all white now instead of just the unpainted gray plastic. So you can see those two figures together. They look really, really nice. And one more time, we'll bring in Megatron. So you can see what these guys... Look like together, and once again, I think they scale really nicely. Megatron, you know, in in vehicle mode, Megatron should have been considerably bigger than the truck mode for Optimus, and that scaled really well. And then here in robot mode, you can see that Megatron is just a you know just a, a smidge taller than Prime is, a lot bulkier, a lot you know, or just overall a bigger guy. Uh, you can you know it, he looks like he could beat him up. Uh, and that's the way they should look, even though he's always going to beat him up because that's just the way it is. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. They look amazing. I really like the way these these, these two figures look. The, the Siege War for Cybertron line, even though I haven't been picking it up, it has... My Megatron's falling over. I can't get him to stand up now. Uh, uh, the, the, the Siege line, uh, even though I have not been picking it up, it is an amazing line. I am enjoying looking at the figures in stores and just watching other people do reviews of them. Uh, it, is, it is just such an amazing line. It really is a, a, a very, very cool line. And uh, there it is. I think that about does it for Siege, War for Cybertron, Classic Animation, Optimus Prime. What did you think of this figure? Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.